Hi everybody, it's Kim from JustWords.ca. I wanted to share some exciting, exciting news with you all. I've just opened up a cute little shop on Etsy. It's called 36 Shades of Flare. And they are flat back flare buttons. And um, I had a couple designers help me out here to uh, get a few sets ready for a little soft release. And um, this one here is the uh, birthday humor. And here are just the one inch if you prefer these to decorate your um, cards with. And the, the larger one is also great for cards. They all are. Um, but they're also really great for scrapbooking or smashing. Um, for some of you who know that what that is. Um, here's the cutest little baby girl and I just love this 10 tiny fingers 10 tiny toes it's my I think my most favorite one that I have in the set and even these ones brand new with the little the little feet super cute we are working on a little boy set so keep your eye out open for that this one here is a really soft yellow gray and white for weddings uh, will match great with uh, the uh, beige colors and that, that that are out there and um, here's just a cute one with some cute little sayings and little sharper colors on this one and then I've got a cute little like an animal one type deal which I thought was fairly cute I've got some more in the works I hope you can visit my shop I'll leave the link on uh, on here for you so you know um, where you can find them and right now we do have a um, just a release um, special right now and I'll leave you the code on this YouTube um, video actually I'll leave it on the link below under the description of the video because it's not going to be um, a coupon that's going to be available forever it's just going to be available for a week or two and um, you can uh, try them out okay here we go always I use coral sun kissed pink we have blush and I have um, baby pink for the cheeks and on her lips I'm gonna put a little bit of antique pink with the baby pink so we'll start with the coral and we're gonna get down in these areas that are going to be shadowed by her hair inside of her ear here sun-kissed pink baby pink on this cheek here and I'm going to get that blush now it's a bit of a longer image um, so I hope I can get into the little itty bitty areas there I'm going to add just a hint of this baby pink on her eyelid as if she's got a little eyeshadow happening there and now her lips just that dark antique pink and then the baby pink soften it up okay now we're back to the coral and just little bit here okay the sun kissed pink make sure I'm in your frame here to put the darkest color on the bottom got the blush now. now I didn't even think of it I should have made her skin a lighter color 
combination, but I just, by habit, grab this one. So hopefully it won't be too dark for her. And the coral. For a fairy that is, they're usually very pale. So I just hope uh, next time I will try and use a lighter combination. Okay, so let's get to her legs. I'm just gonna put a little Get that blush, go over all the colors, try and blend that in. And I'll move on to the underside here. pink. Blush. And now I think I am going to work on the leaf here and I've actually gotten a couple colors because originally I was going to do it more like a Tinkerbell and have blonde hair and the green outfit but I might change the green outfit. So the colors I'm going to use, it's a new combination for me, we're going to see how it turns out, is Pine, um, Lush Green, emerald and grass green. So let us see how that will turn out for us. I'm just going to turn this a bit. I'm just using that pine. And then we're getting that lush green. A vibrant combination and then we're going to get that grass green I think that's a very vibrant color. So I am just going to use the um, emeralds. I'm going to do the stems here. The emerald and the grass green. It's just the area is so small, I don't think I can get in all those colors. So I'm just going to use the lighter ones. I might add a little of the 
lush green here. And then the emerald. And the grass. Okay, and she is also um, laying on that as well. So we're going to use those same. I'm not going to use the pine. I'm going to use the lush green. Uh, let me see. It's going to be... Yikes. It's underneath that wing, which I don't want to put too dark a color. Because... I want it. I want to put colors over top. And this is a pretty deep color. I'm just being, I'm just going to put the grass green up here. Whoops, I got a little bit on her arm, but I'm going to go back and fix it up. I'm going to get my sun-kissed pink. And then my blush. Just redo this arm. Be a little darker, but we got rid of that green. Okay. I just have a little dot here. This very soft blonde. So we are going to get um, my buttercup. If I can find it. You think I would learn and have all these ready? There's buttercup, and I want to have eggnog, and I'm just trying to think of what other color would look good with that. I think I'll just go with my mustard. So eggnog is a new color. Um, if you don't, that is a special edition, and if you don't have that one, I would suggest maybe a primrose or an ivory. Okay, so we're going to grab the um, mustard first, and I'm just going to add that here. Around the ear a little. And then the buttercup. Now I don't have any little nibs on here, so I'm hoping it'll not look too bad. And then we've got the eggnog. And there isn't much depth there, so I'm going to have to add this mustard again. It's very, very light. which I may have to come in and I'll get my raw sienna because I'm going to just very, very lightly get that mustard back out again. And I'm going right over it to kind of dilute that color just a bit because I just wanted to add some depth in there. There we are. I think that's good. Okay. Very light and airy, I believe. And let's do this front part here. I'm going to go underneath. And then we're going to get that mustard. Okay. Sorry about that. My son was just interrupting me for a moment. And then buttercup. And we'll get that eggnog. I'm not going to take that raw sienna out again, but I am going to take my mustard. I just 
wanted to get some depth in there. This light, light hair. There we are. Okay, and then I'm going to do this little piece here. I'm just going to add that little bit of dark and the mustard. Now I'm going to go right to the eggnog here. There we are. Let's go over that with that mustard again. Okay, so now we've got the little bit in the back here. You see, make sure you can see where I am. In. Okay, so now we're getting our mustard. Okay, and the buttercup. And then the eggnog. Oh, I see I missed. I'm just going to get the sunkissed pink, a little bit of her neck here. Oh, I'm going to get a little bit of the coral as well, or back here. Make that dark. There we are. Okay, we're still. Working on the depths here. Okay, buttercup. Eggnog. Now you can go over this even more if your paper will handle more color to uh, give it more depth. But uh, I'm going to stop there and do um, just over her eye, eyebrow, you can say, with the mustard. And I'll add just a touch of the There we go. I hope you like that. And let us move on to the flower. And I've chosen a few colors here. I've chosen plum. I've also chosen a couple flex markers this time around. Boysenberry and wild orchid and orchid. Now, um, I do love using plum, purple, and orchid as well, which works good. Let me just double check my chart here. Um, yes, or you can use aubergine, purple, and orchid. So these are the colors I'm working with, and of course I'm going to start with my darkest one, which is the plum. 
and I'm going to just work on this one first. And then, then it's boysenberry. Now I find with the flex markers, the ink just likes to come up really quickly on you, so be aware. lightest color just kind of go over the existing blend your colors together okay so we'll continue on this one And I always tend to open up the wrong ends of flux markers too. I want to do the inside of this one seeing as the flower is so vibrant I'm just going to do the inside a I think a soft yellow that's the plan anyway Cheryl continues to make these. After I seen it, my mind was just going crazy on how to make some new buttons for these fairy images that we see everywhere. And I've got quite a few ideas. I'm just learning how to use my program to make some of my own. Um, just to have a, a different variety of of flare buttons to be available for everyone. Everyone has different tastes. So, oh yeah. if I knew what I was doing here. And I hope you like them. Um, my husband thinks I'm crazy, of course. I'm getting myself into another adventure, but it just keeps me out of trouble. That's why I say it keeps me out of trouble, honey. I try not to let him know how much all the equipment cost me. <laughs> Hoping that I'll recoup some of it anyway. I do it for the love of crafting and to find things I think are missing. There are some flare buttons out there, but there are none in the sizes that I offer. So I'm hoping that uh, they will appeal to some. And also in the description, I will put my new Facebook page as well. I would love for you to come and visit. I uh, I hope not to, other than just this release that I'm doing, I'm not going to go crazy with 500 posts a day. Um, but I will be listing sales, specials, giveaways. Um, that type of thing on my Facebook page so have a look under the description and you will see where my link is to the Facebook page and I hope to see you there thinking possibly I think I might just do this on the spur of the moment after I receive 50 likes I will 
offer a free set, I will have a giveaway. So please come visit and like my Facebook page. And then when we get 50, I will randomly select from the number of likes. And we'll have a winner. Oh, I've got an ink on myself here. Okay. I have to really think about the color I wanted to do this flower. Um, there's so many great color combinations you can use. I thought about blue and then I thought about pink. But knowing me, I think I'm going to do her outfit pink. I just have to decide on the combination that I like. Just doing this one just slightly different. It's right in the foreground here. So I'm going to put the highlight kind of in the middle. There we are, and now we have this part underneath. Definitely not as fast at changing out these markers, the flex markers. I find them very difficult to like really concentrate and look at the to see what end is the nub. What the the tip is anyway. Okay, now I think I'm going to try and add try a bit of word there to add some of this purple in her wings as long as pink and put her outfit pink. That is the plan. But first I'm gonna get some yellow so we're gonna finish this flower and you know I'm kind of matchy-matchy, so I'm really going to use those same colors I used on her hair, which is the raw sienna, the mustard, and I'm just going to go with the buttercup and use those three colors. So, of course, under here is going to be the raw sienna. And then we've got the mustard, which is a great complement to that color. And then we're going to use the buttercup. And what I'm going to do is just to make it a little bit of texture, I'm just going to take this buttercup and I'm just going to do dots on top of that raw sienna and the mustard. And it's going to look a little, just give it a little texture. Just like I do with the teddy bear um, type images. Okay, pretty cute. Okay, let's work on her little outfit. I've picked some colors and we're going to see how these work. I've got fuchsia pink, I've got sorbet, which is a flex marker, and I also have pink carnation. So we are going to see how this combo works. So the fuchsia pink is the darkest. So I'm just going to go underneath here. And then it's the pink carnation. I think that's the lighter color. Yep, pink carnation is the next, the medium color. And then we've got sorbet, which is very soft pink. Yes, I like this. Soft, soft, soft. But I am going to go just a little bit. I want to add that little bit of pop 
little bit more of that. I'm just going to go over it twice. Just to give it a little more of that definition that we like to see. There we are. Okay, and then we're going to go on the skirt here. Now, if you like a lighter, even a lighter pink, you can take your blending pen and just kind of go over it a little bit, and that will just make it that little bit more lighter. Mystical. And this sorbet, I'd really like to figure out how, I know I've seen people put some beautiful glitters, I do have my glitter pen, but I wish I could figure out how to make it really um, pop like some people, I don't know if it's glitter dust or, I'm not sure what they use, but I sure would like to get my hands on some, that's for sure. I haven't seen anything other than the, like the stickles, but they're really thick. But I just want like a shimmering of glitter. If anyone has any ideas of what I'm talking about, I would love, I would love to uh, find out so I can try and hunt some down. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my sorbet here and put it along the top here. I'm not going to add any shading to that. Now, let me see what we can do with the book and then we'll tackle those wings. Of course I leave the hardest to the last. Um, I'm just going to get my browns. I have a drawer beside me that has all my markers in and I have to say it is getting so full that I don't know what I'm going to do. There's got to be a better way to store these. Of course I'm making all kinds of noise. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Okay, so I am just going to use sandstone and I think I'm looking for satin. Yes, sandstone, satin, and the blender pen. That's what we're going to use for the book. Okay, so we're just right where her leg is here, inside of the pages. And then we're just going to take that blender pen, go along the very top here, want that almost white. Just want those creases in the darker colors. There we go. Okay, now we're going to work on these wings. I'm just going to get a piece of paper because I want to try and see how this would work. I don't want them dark at all. I wish I had... I'm sure I must have... I'm going to grab my flex marker Heather. Heather! Because I think 
be doing in this would be, that was just my color chart, pardon me. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use Heather and Sorbet for my colors. Okay. So what I've got is Heather and Sorbet. Let me see how we're going to do this here. I'm just going to try this bottom one first. Kind of covering her hair, so it's washing it out a little bit, but don't fret. We want it to look like it's transparent. I just have to get my blender pen. I went a little too much here. But you can't see it too much. And I'm just going to take my blender pen and I'm going to go around these edges here. I'm going to leave the edges very, very light. But I will have to go over this again with the heather. And then the blender to soften that up. There we are. Okay, so now we're going to go and work on this next section. Let's take the heather. Line your frame. Oh, I better move myself a little. Here we are. Kind of mixing the two colors. Get that blender pen. Okay, and then we've got this other one to do. We're almost done. Trying to see where one begins and one ends here. Get that blender pen. Let me just see how this looks if I turn it around. I think that's really cute. You see it covers her hair a bit. Still you can see the blonde through it, but the wings are covering it a bit. I think it turned out great. Now I'm going to color this little flower here. And I think I'm just going to add a green. Um, I'm just going to grab one of the greens we had here. I think grass green. And I'm just going to color that in the lightest green that we used. Just to kind of tie in all the colors. And then it's... Um, I'm going to do her eyes as well, and I'm just, I would normally use the same colors as the uh, leaf, I think, whoops, sorry, but um, I don't have little nibs on those, so I'm just going to use my fail-safe uh, combo I always use, which is forest green, bright green, and lime green, and it's just a really small, small area here, so I think I'm just putting a dot here, a dot there, a dot here. All right. And I totally hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial. And I hope you uh, like how it turned out. And I'm going to try and add some type of glitter somewhere. Because fairies have to have glitter. And uh, decorate it up and show you the finished product. So thank you so very much for watching. I had a great time. And we'll uh, see you next time. Take care now.